We are now going to talk about the theory of Charles Perrault. He says that there are some routine and complex tasks. This is quite intuitive, right? If you imagine maybe some hamburger serving company, well, you consider them as a routine tasks. And if you imagine maybe some programming company, you consider them their job as being very complex. Due to our previous theory, we have agreed that our tasks are complex, so that there is some complexity. Okay, we have got complexity. And now, this, this guy, the Charles Perrault, asked why? Why are some tasks considered routine and some are considered complex? So this is the basic idea. Why are some tasks considered routine and some complex? And, and he found out that there are two perspectives. So we are going to have two perspectives. First, sorry, my small mistake. So two perspectives. And we can already start creating some sense of a table, right? So that there will be some, some horizontal perspective and then some vertical perspective. So in a vertical perspective, we are going to have something called the task analyzability. So task, and I will change the color so that we have task analyzability. 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 Sorry, my mistake. So analyzability. And in a in a horizontal perspective we will have task variability. So task variability. Variability. I would begin with the task variability because this point basically tells us or or the task depends on the number of exceptions that can occur. So number number of exceptions exceptions or we can say unexpected situations so unexpected unexpected situations situations so that the task variability is higher or is very high when there are many uh, or we encounter many new situations or problems uh, during we are performing this task and on the other hand the task analyzability is the degree into uh, which it is necessary to search for the information. So here we are taking care about some gathering information. So information, information, gathering, gathering. So that maybe we have to do some research or some search for the information, search for the information. And when you put these two things, the task variability, and the task analyzability, you already have your theory. So that you can have maybe you can have the low. So here we are going to have low task variability. Here we are, we are going to have high. So that we are distinguishing between the tasks that are going to have very many exceptions and many unexpected situations. And then you are going to have task analyzability. So here it will be low. So the tasks are are quite routine and we don't have to gather much information to perform the task and then we are going to have high task analyzability so high and you already have got a table right so in the next video we will try to figure out what is going to be in this table so this was the introduction to theory of Charles Perrow he asked himself why we consider some of the tasks as routine and some as complex and then he sees two points the variability and the perspective of analyzability so hopefully see you in next video